Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video lecture, I will discuss about Gaussian mixture model. So let's get start. It is a probabilistic model for representing normally distributed normally and distributed subpopulation within an oral population. So जो हमारे पास oral population है, उनमें से सब populations को हम यहाँ पे distribute करते हैं. Mixture model in general uh, generally don't require knowing which subpopulation at data point belong to allowing the model to learn subpopulation automatically. Now, uh, since subpopulation assignment is not uh, known, this constitutes a form of unsupervised learning. So, यहाँ पर हमारे पास जो subpopulation होती है, वो हमारे पास यहाँ पे एक तरह से unlabeled होती है, इसलो इसके लिए हम इसको हम unsupervised learning में यहाँ पे लेते हैं. A Gaussian mixture is a function that is comprised of several Gaussian, each identified by the k uh, belongs from the one to k, and where k is the number of cluster. Of our data set, each Gaussian case in the mixture is comprised of the following parameters. So, इसमें हमारे पास तो a mean mu that defines its center, a covariance that defines its width, width, and this should be an equivalent to the dimension of an ellipsoid uh, in a multi-variety, uh, multi-variety of uh, scenario and mixing prob probability uh, phi that define how big or small. The Gaussian function will be so. Here, our pass is cluster so that in which we have a unlabeled data. Which through here, pass the overall population. Na, usko sum sub population me here divide karte hai. Or isme our jo data hota hai, here pass unknown hota hai. So here we can uh, see that there are three Gaussian function. Hence, k is three. So k three means we have uh, we create three clusters. Each Gaussian explain the data contained in each of the Three cluster available, so the mixing of coefficient are themselves probability and must be uh, must uh, meet this condition. So, हमारे पास अगर probability one होती है, तो हमारे basically यहाँ पे work करेगा, okay? Now, in general, the Gaussian density function यहाँ हमारे पास Gaussian density का function हो गया, and इसमें इनकी जो values हैं वो होगी. और इसी तरह, if we differentiate this equation with respect to the mean and covariance, and then uh, then equate it to zero, then we will able to find the optimal values. For these parameter and the solution will correspond to the maximum likelihood uh, estimate. Okay, so for this setting, however, because we are dealing with not just one but many Gaussian things will get a bit complicated when time comes for us to find the parameter for the whole mixture. In this regra, uh, regard, we will need to introduce some additional aspect that we discuss in the next session. So. Thank you so much for watching this video.